Glenn with the Toy Temple. And today we've got, from the Marvel's Apocalypse Build-A-Figure Wave, Storm. And Storm here is rocking her punk rock look. She's got the lightning effects. She looks great already, just looking at the box. I'm excited to pop this thing open. On the side here, we've got Storm looking all shocking and coming at you. I like it already. Storm, though, an affinity for the magical elements make Aurora Monroe the mistress of weather manipulation, Storm. Storm is one of the classic, classic X-Men members. And we'll talk about her more in a second. But we're going to pop open Storm, see what just makes her tick, and I hope you'll join me. And here's Storm out of the packaging, and she looks very intimidating. She's got a very confident face right here. The mohawk looks amazing. Man, they molded that so well. She's got little lightning earrings. She has this very fierce, determined look to her. She's got the little spike necklace. The jacket's very neat. I like that. Fits right in with that punk rock look of hers. And the belts look good. Painted silver with the little belt buckle right there. And these lightning effects, they just make the figure pop. I think it looks altogether just so fantastic. Accessory-wise, she does come with these very, very good-looking lightning effects. And at a previous review, I mentioned how the Shocker should use lightning effects like this. And they're finally making them in the right color. So I'm glad that they finally made effects like this. They look way better than the little circle dealies, and these are just a lot, a lot better. Just flat out so much better. Paint-wise, not a lot to discuss. I mean, sure, they gave a little bit of uh, black here and there. And they did actually miss out on some silver up in there, but other than that, it's a very base black figure when it comes to the paint and clothing. I'm used to Storm wearing a lot of white, you know, the big, you know, cloth under wing, I don't know how to describe it. You know, something right here. Yeah, looks like that. The figure, it's your basic Marvel Legends articulation for the female body. Double jointed knees, but no double jointed elbows. And I think that will eventually get fixed. Storm though, looking just absolutely intimidating and fierce and matching her look from the 80s very well. In fact, I actually can use a comic book for reference. Look at that. Now that is, uh, that's Storm right up there. Mohawk, jacket. I love this cover. Doctor Doom beating up Colossus. And man, it's, it's, a, great, it's a great book. But that is 100% what they were going for. And they nailed it. They nailed it. It's so good. And here's your size comparison between Storm and Black Panther. And if you've ever read a comic book in your life, you would know that these two are married off and on again, and they love each other. But, you know, things happen. All in all, what do I think about Storm? I think it's very faithful to the comics. I mean, literally, that's what she looks like on one of the comics I own. And I own very few single print comic books. You know, I buy a lot of the compilations, a lot of the altogether books, the graphic novels, but that com that comic is classic. It's got so much to love about it, but this storm, they nailed. Four out of five. They missed a few of the paint apps, and it's not the exact comic storm that I love. A very unique look for storm. It's the total package for a storm with the punk rock 80s look. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter at The Toy Temple. Leave a comment below as to which storm you prefer, the all black version or the white 90s version. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love.